Good morning or good afternoon, everyone. Today, I will introduce you my research topic. My research topic is policy research and, and exploration on poverty alleviation under big data. My name is Minan Jiang. My student ID is 611615529. Next, I will introduce you the importance of my topic. I had prepared some questions for you. One, if you do not eat one day, how do you feel? For me, I will feel very hungry. Two, what would you do if you or your family were here and had no money? For me, I will feel worried. Third, if you were the manager of a country, if you see a lot of poor people in your country, what would you do? For me, I will try my best to help them, even if my strength is weak. On the right, I will also show some picture. We can see this picture anytime and anywhere on the internet or our daily life. Mostly, they had a hard time. The importance of my topic is to help these poor people. Next, I will introduce the analysis of the current situation of the poor population in China and the world. For what? The World Bank said that COVID-19 is, is, is stimulated to increase 88 million to 115 million people in the new poor population this year. By 2021, the total number of the extremely poor population will increase to 115 million. For China, according to the China's or standards, they are still more than 70 million poor people in China. According to the World Bank standards, they are still more than 200 million poor people in China. Next, I will give you a brief introduction about big data. As we know, big data can really resource sharing, servers sharing, and data sharing. Big data also has a wide range of applications, including finance and insurance, medical and medical care, agriculture and industry, and so on. Next, I will give you a case analysis about Guizhou province in China. As a technical means, big data analysis has become an important resource in the practice of poverty and evaluation. From this data, Guizhou poor population ranks first in the country. I last I will introduce you the steps to help the poor people. One, the identification of the poor pe poor people. 
to the analysis of the cause of poverty. Three, the selection of poverty alleviation project for the employment of poor household. Five, electronic commons. Next, I will introduce you one by one. The identification of the peer of the poor people. The traditional way, the township staff through the way uh through the way of street investigation of poor households. This way is time consuming and labor because the poor people are mostly in the route address traffic inconvenience. Guizhou province government has established a big data support support platform. The system has got through the data links of 17 provincial department to share and compare the related data information of Medicare cars, housing, social security, children, education, and so on. The analysis of the cause of poverty by collecting a larger number of data on the cause of poverty in poor households and use big data analysis. The cause of poverty can be quickly collected. Finally, combined with the Asian program is gave. Next, I will from industry electronic commerce and employment to introduce the rule of big data. From industry, Guizhou province has many mountains and higher attitude. Attitude, so it has formed a unique climate environment. The poverty alleviation works can use big data analysis to guide local farmers to plant suitable crops more accurately. From electronic commerce. There are many good products in Guizhou, but Guizhou is not well known. The big data system can just solve this problem of information asymmetry between buyer and sales from employment. The basic information of poor Household is stored in the big data systems. The big data system can aggregate match the employment needs of firm with the condition of poor household. Guizhou has achieved remarkable results in poverty alleviation through the big data. You can get more information from the internet if you are interested in it. Conclusion. I hope that through my research, people in China and even the world can get rid of poverty through the development of big data. Many poverty achieve 
an innovation policy can be development, and people and con and countries can benefit from my research. Thank you for your listen. Bye bye.